Hello friends, this is the Garage Woodworker and today we have a special project. We uh, were able to find a very nice wood cabinet for about five dollars and we are going to transform it in a more modern looking cabinet to be able to display and store jewelry. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to, to cut the top. As you see this is a, a, a rather old-fashioned design. So we're going to cut it flat so both the bottom and the top will be straight and mimic again this uh, routing using our router and then work in the interior. This might be a more than uh, one episode uh, process because there are a lot of things that have to happen then we have to wait until the, the next thing happens. We start by removing the hardware and I, I have removed already the hardware in one door and we'll put it away here. And we're going to remove the other door and at this moment we want to be careful not to do too much scratching because the more damage we do to the original thing is the less repair we have to do for the final project. For each project we keep the screws in a small container so they're all together. Especially with all wood like this I recommend that you use a, a hand screwdriver versus a power screwdriver more specifically when you're putting it back together and that way you avoid actually damaging the, the, the wood and making the hinge inoperable We're going to keep all the hardware together. I have those small containers that are actually a great buy at the dollar store. You buy about 10 for a dollar and they're great for projects like this. And then we're going to put the, all the hardware for this project in a Ziploc bag so it, it is all together. So I've decided that the best tool to make the cut is my bandsaw. So I've set my bandsaw on and I want to show you the very cool uh, attachment that I I was given recently as a gift. This is a, a tool switch and you plug the vacuum on one and the tool on the other and simply you turn the vacuum on and when you turn your, your tool on the vacuum comes on automatically and it, it helps you a lot with the management of dust in your shop. Before we took the doors apart, we made a mark using a pencil so we know where to cut the door.
two doors cut, now we are ready to go to the next step. As you can see, this is real wood, and that's the reason why we bought it from a second-hand store, because you can find some really good quality stuff at a very reasonable price. So we'll see now if we can match this profile with our router. We have set the router up and now we're going to run a scrap piece of wood through it to see if our profile is correct. Close to our profile. We need to do it one more time because it needs to be a little deep. I mean, more in, we need to take more wood, but I think the profile is perfect. Right? I mean, we will have to, of course, refinish this area. But as you can see, this, if you run your finger here, you cannot feel the transition point. So this is a very good result here. Can you see that? And we're going to do the second drawer. And this will probably be for today. to make a very very good match on both pieces and after we finish it no one will ever know that we put that we cut something out of here if you remember this was the piece that we cut and this was the original piece so I hope you enjoyed part one of the carpentry finishment and we are going to come back with part two next week uh, we'll make sure that we're going to tape anything we we'll do between now and then so you're not going to miss any parts if you enjoyed this video Please subscribe, share and like and I will see you soon.